Welcome to this uh, webinar on the uh, Pocket NC desktop uh, five axis CNC machine. Just going to wait a few moments before we get started. Uh, let the last few people join. So as I mentioned just there, um, this is um, the uh, last webinar in our series um, focusing on uh, manufacturing for education. Um, we looked at the, the first of all, we looked at the Wazer desktop water jet cutter. We then looked at the Volterra PCB 3D printer. Um, and today we're going to be looking at the Pocket NC uh, desktop five axis. Following this webinar today, um, all of these are going to be available um, on our YouTube channel. So if you did want to watch um, either of the previous two or re-watch this one, um, then you can access those um, all on our YouTube channel. So what is the Pocket NC? Uh, it's a small form factor desktop 5-axis CNC machine. As you can see there in the picture, um, this is the, that's the V2-10 um, model. It's a perfect tool for prototyping um, and as we're going to talk about education, uh, getting um, people started um, with uh, five axis machining um, and uh, other types of machining, um, a very comfortable and, and easy to use product. Uh, the machine is, is actually made in the USA um, by uh, Penta Machine Company. Um, for those of you that um, uh, aware of Pocket NC for a while. Um, they've actually rebranded now, so Pocket NC is now a model, um, and the, parent, uh, the top company that actually manufactures their equipment is called Penta Machine Company. Um, and it runs on standard ISO uh, G code, um, so it can be run by uh, many different CAM programs. It's got a dedicated toolpath simulator, um, which we'll touch on slightly later. Um, this is a really useful tool. Um, because it allows you to check your G-code before you actually run it on the machine just to make sure um, everything's okay. Um, and it runs off a standard um, wall outlet um, plug. And it's got a very simple to use and user-friendly design. So a quick look at the specs of the machine. So this is just the travel uh, distances. So we've got 115.5 in the X. Uh, 128.3 in the Y, uh, 90.1 millimeters in the Z, and we've got our A and B um, axes of, of rotation as well. And then the max spindle speed uh, for the V210, which is the model on the right, is 10,000 RPM. And then there is two models um, which have a 50,000 RPM spindle speed, which are the V250, uh, CHB and CHK and we'll go over those uh, slightly later. Why is the Pocket NC a perfect machine for education? It's a really easy way uh, to get into five axis CNC machining. So you don't need to purchase a really large, expensive um, industry standard um, or specification CNC machine. Um, the Pocket NC is, it can fit on your desktop uh, in a classroom um, and gives you perfect access to programming um, a five axis program. And this can be integrated into many different programs and curriculums. Uh, we're seeing a lot of success and, and uptake in things like the drone and robotics industry, because these often require very small, high precision um, and often uh, varying different materials, um, such as metals and alloys um, that we can work with with the Pocket NC. 
It also allows people to learn the limitations um, of subtractive manufacturing and sort of more traditional manufacturing methods that they are later to go on to probably use and, and design for in industry. Um, there's, with the um, uptake of 3D printers, it sort of takes away um, all limitations in terms of design. Uh, but often when you go into industry, many components will still be uh, fabricated in a, in a more traditional way. Um, the Pocket NC really helps um, educate um, and have uh, students really realise um, some of the limitations and, and considerations that need to be made um, when manufacturing things from a subtractive method. We've also seen a lot of uptake in uh, the Pocket NC in terms of research um, because you can machine very small and precise uh, materials, um, so whether that be uh, precious metals or, or things like that, you can machine them to a very high tolerance and get them uh, to the right uh, shape and size that you are going to need for your experiments. And it also allows you to engage, um, so whether this be a, we can talk about, you know, very young ages all the way through to university and say research level there. Um, but this is really a suitable product um, and, and, and a pathway for, for all sorts of ages. Um, so hopefully really um, generating that interest at a young age as well. So just a quick look at what materials can be actually cut uh, on the Pocket NC. Um, in theory, any material can be cut on the, on the Pocket NC um, to, to, a, to a degree really, um, but a few standout ones that we'll go over. So starting with the softer materials, we've got wax, uh, we've got Delrin, um, it's a very common one and one we're gonna be machining today on our, in our demo, uh, wood. Then just looking at a few of the metals that we can do. So brass is a very common one that we see a lot of people doing, aluminium, uh, stainless steel um, and then some even harder materials uh, going up from that as well. Okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to run a quick time lapse of a part that we're machining um, on our Pocket NC and then one of our colleagues um, from Solid Solutions uh, CAM team who's an expert on, on Pocket NC and CAM machining is going to answer a few of our um, most sort of frequently asked questions regarding the Pocket NC. The part we're making today has been designed in SolidWorks and programmed in SolidCAM to get the NC output. As you can see for the first operation, we're going to rough with SolidCAM's eye machining technology. This is so we can get as much material out as quickly as possible. Then from there, we'll go and use simple facing operations, profiling, and then finally five axis motion to clean up the part so we get exactly what we want to have. The Pocket NC is a great addition for anybody who wants to prototype. We've been able to cut metals and plastics in a size of 90mm in X, Y and Z it allows you to get the shape that you want with relative ease. Pocket NC is a great introduction into machining, which makes it ideal for education. With its small form factor being allowed to be stored straight on a desk and simple to use control, it's great for anybody who's just starting their machining journey. A must use tool with the Pocket NC is the machine simulator. This can be found at sim.pocketnc.com and it's a great place where you can load in your STL file and the G-code you want to cut and it'll go and simulate the kinematic motion of the machine before you've even pressed go. Another way the Pocket NC has been made easy to use is the code it runs on. It just uses standard ISO code. You can use CAN cycles for drilling if you want to, and you can use machine offsets if you wish to as well. Or you can just be as simple as using G54. What makes the Pocket NC so versatile is the amount of ways that you can machine on it. You could use it simply as a three axis machine, or three plus two to get to those hard to reach places in different positions, or even if you have the capability, go to full simultaneous 5-axis.
Mounting material onto the Pocket NC is a cinch. You can go as simple as using the ER32 collet in the bed, or you can get a custom vise, or even use mounting holes which are pre-made for you in the bed to screw something custom that you may have made yourself. Mounting tools into the Pocket NC has been made really straightforward. If you have the V210, it's as simple as an ER collet with a max shank size of 6mm. If you have a V250, then this can just be a 3mm that slides on. Once we've programmed the code, we can then simply simulate it in sim.pocketnc.com to make sure that we've got the correct shape that we're wanting to achieve and that we're not running out of limits on the machine or going to cause a crash. To make programming simple on the Pocket NC, I have just made the coordinate system in the centre of the axes. This is called machine on pivot point, but the Pocket NC can use tooltip monitoring as well, if that is something that you want to make use of. Another vital part of the Pocket NC is the tool height offset, and this can be done with a simple cycle in the software. This will go and measure the tool height, and then that can be used in the programs that you run. Once you've machined your part, it's still simple to get ready for the next one. There's a removable tray to make sure you can clean up any swarf, and everything else is in an easy to reach place just because of how small the machine is. So whether you're a first time user on your journey to start machining, or experienced and wanting to get quick prototypes in your hands, the Pocket NC is a great tool to enable you to do this. Hope you found that very useful. Um, thanks very much for that, Tom. So we're now just going to look at a, a case study of a technical college um, in the States um, and how they've been using the Pocket NC, really. Um, so how, how they work in is they, they'll start off with manual machines um, such as lathes um, and mills, and then they'll work their way up to sort of programming uh, basic um programs for a CNC machine and a great way of doing that is, is the Pocket NC um, as it's very compact um, it allows them to fit it into their, um, their classrooms and they also sort of take it on, on the road as well when they do um, science shows and things like that um, and they do um, as a part of their curriculum they use the, the Pocket NC online course um, which I'll, I'll show you a little bit about later on. Okay, so you've heard me mention a couple of times uh, the Pocket NC V210 and the V250. So basically, what is the Pocket NC V210 and V250? Well, fundamentally, they're the same machine. However, uh, the V210 has a 10,000 RPM spindle speed, and the V250 has a 50,000 RPM spindle speed. 
The VT10 is a slightly more versatile and, and sort of wider uh, app use application um, potentially than the, the V250. Um, it also allows you um, to load a short tool holder um, which can give you just a little bit more super space um, when machining. As you can see on the, the V250, um, the tool holder is a little bit longer, um, so it can um, very, very so slightly limit the size of the, the parts that you can machine. Um, it's a uh, super perfect, uh, I'd say, perfect tool for teaching five axis um, and general prototyping work. Um, because it's much more lower cost, uh, easier to get into sort of get into that, um, and it can um, with the tool holders allow you to change the tools very easily um, without needing to measure them. Uh, for instance, uh, once you change the tool each time. Uh, yeah, and as I said, there um, very quick at changing the tools. It's so ideal um, the VT50 and the VC, uh, CHB and CHK. Basically, all that is is just the um, the two, there's two variants uh, with different uh, tool holders um, and we'll go over those and, and, and why you might want to choose one over the other um, but fundamentally it's, it's the same machine which is a 50,000 RPM version of the V210 and this is ideal for uh, machining smaller parts um, with the um, higher RPM uh, motor um, it allows you to, to machine parts much more precisely with smaller tools and this also allows you to cut harder materials um, so if you're going to be working with a lot of stainless steels and, and upwards then uh, yeah, this would be the model to go for as I say there, the, the 50,000 RPM uh, just, just um, increases the, the um, material removal weight uh, so for roughing for instance it's about four times quicker than the V210 so a more in-depth overview of the, the V210, uh, as I say, is a 10,000 RPM spindle speed, uh, suitable for sort of aluminium and uh, Delrin, uh, wax, that sort of material, um, interchangeable tool holders. Um, so if you can see there, the silver part uh, that sticks out of the motor, that's the tool holder. Um, what you do is you load in your tool and then you can change that in and out. Uh, so very quick and easy to do. Uh, it's a slightly larger working envelope um, than the V250, as I mentioned, because you can get those shorter tools. Um, the V250, uh, it's got a 50,000 uh, max RPM uh, spindle speed. Um, it's up to four times quicker, as I say, than the, the V210 at, at roughing. And it can, um, because of the, the higher spindle speed, it is a little bit better at cutting deeper cuts um, and uh, cutting at a faster feed rate compared to the, the V210. Um, so the CHB, this is where we get the, the differences between the CHB uh, and the CHK. Um, so you see the one there uh, in the picture, that's the CHB. Um, it has a bolt action uh, locking mechanism, so very quick to change tools. So if you're doing a, an operation with lots of different tools, um, different tool changes, things like that, um, the bolt action nature of it can make it very easy um, and very quick to change tools. Uh, yeah. So, the, as you say, you might be, not be able to tell the difference, but we've actually then just changed over to the CHK. Uh, so the CHK has the exact same feature sets, um, machining-wise, as the, the CHB. Uh, however, it does have some slight differences in terms of um, it can go up to a 6mm shank. Um, normally, you, you wouldn't be using such large tools. Um, however, that does give you the flexibility of using, for instance, a thread mill. Uh, thread mills often only come with a, a six millimeter shank. Um, so, for instance, if you if you were to use those specialty tools, it does give you that sort of little bit more um, of wiggle room in terms of what tools you can load into the machine um, with that larger shank diameter available to you. Um, and then you can also clamp down on the tools slightly harder. So, if you are machining those very very hard materials, um, that can be can be of use. And we just want to quickly overview uh, something else we offer, which is um, a pocket NC bundle. So everything from, from earlier, what we've, we've talked about um, is uh, the pocket NC as a standalone item. Um, but what we also do is we sell it as a bundle. And what this does is basically comes with all the equipment you need to get off the ground running. Um, so for instance, it will come with some tools um, and tool holders. But one of the main things it comes with um, and, and what really helps is particularly for education is this um, full metal enclosure with say uh, safety glass and a safety switch um, so basically what this means is when the, um, the case is closed it'll allow you to run the machine but as soon as that um, um, door is opened and the, and the switch is triggered uh, it will automatically pause the machine and, and cut the um, cut the program 
However, once that's closed again, you can restart the, the pocket in C and you won't be losing your uh, progress, um, which is really useful and um, can become a really nice sort of feature in terms of um, if you do need to clean any swarf away, you can just open the door, not worry about your program sort of messing up and then close it again and then start off um, where, you, where you left off. Uh, so as I said, um, uh, it's depending on the, the, the model that you go for. Um, so a V210, for instance, will get some extra uh, they, all the extras you see in that picture there, so the extra tool holders, um, the extra collets um, that, are, that are required for the machine. Uh, the V250 will come with uh, a few different uh, collet sizes. As I say, it doesn't have the tool holders, uh, but it will come with the various different collet sizes to allow for different shanks um, of tools. Uh, it will come with some additional work holding options, and it will also come with a set of Muji thanking uh, tooling. Uh, specific for either the V210 or the V250. Okay, so we're just going to touch on the pricing of the machines. Um, as I say, this is only for um, one particular machine. Uh, if you do uh, think you'd like to look at purchasing uh, multiple machines, um, then do reach out to our sales team and we can look at uh, putting together a package that would be suitable for your institution. Um, and a pricing sort of relevant for that. And so just as a quick overview basically, so as I said before, you can buy the machine as a standalone machine or you can buy it as a bundle, uh, which comes with those additional items. So the V210, um, we've got the pricing there for the, for the machine in the bundle. Um, the V250 uh, CHB um, and the machine in the bundle and the CHK machine in the bundle. Um, but these are all on our website, so if you do check there for the most up-to-date uh, pricing. Um, and then as I say, if you do want to reach out to either myself or one of the other um, people on our team, uh, we're happy to help in terms of putting together a package that might be more appropriate um, if you were looking at multiple machines or, or more of a bespoke package. Okay, so as I mentioned before, we do have an, an online training course um, that a lot of um, educational institutions are already using. It's a very good step-by-step -step guide in terms of getting up to speed with the with the pocket and the C. Um, and it is an, it's an online course, as I said, with a workbook and, and some uh, materials to go along with it. Um, and that can all be purchased alongside the machine. So finally, just a point I like to, to always sort of try and hone back to really with, with purchasing a machine from uh, uh, Solid Print 3D um, as we can offer on-site installation and training. So we'll come down, uh, get the machine set up and, and train you up on how to use the, the machine. Um, this, this can be, this is normally just hardware related, uh, but if you were to purchase um, SolidWorks or you were a SolidWorks user, um, we can also incorporate the, uh, the CAM training into that as well. Uh, through our, um, our, our colleagues at the Solid Solutions. Um, and then we do have um, on, on the phone and, and email um, support on backup. Uh, the team here at Solid Print 3D are really good. If any of you bought 3D printers or any of other uh, machines and hardware from us, then you'll know that you know the, the quality of technical support from us is sort of second to none, uh, and we really pride ourselves on that. Uh, so I'd just like to recap uh, basically on, on um, what I mentioned at the start. So this is um, a series of, of webinars that we've done. Um, so Manufacturing for Education is the title. Uh, we originally looked at the Wazer desktop wash chip cutter, then the Volterra PCB uh, printer. And then today we looked at the Pocket NC 5-axis CNC machine. Uh, but if you did want to revisit any of these at any point, uh, we'll share them with your colleagues who you couldn't attend today. Um, then these all are all on our uh, YouTube channel. So feel free to reach out there. Thanks very much. Uh, now we'll open up for some questions.